All right, man, we're back once again. So today, I just wanted to come back with this format again. A little talk today. And today's topic I want to talk about is like time, you know, how we spend our time throughout the day and stuff like that. And the main question, I want to base this whole video around a question. And the question is, why is it so hard for us to spend just five minutes with God, but we could spend hours and I mean, literally hours on Netflix, YouTube, Instagram, you know, platforms like that. So that's like the basis of this whole video that I wanted to, you know, focus on. And um, just to start off, I want to start off with a little scripture and the book of Revelation, chapter three, verse 20 in the American Standard Version. Is that it says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. So that's like kind of like the first one. And the second scripture. Well, let's just start off with that right there. I'm going to try to keep this short, by the way. So, yeah, basically, really a simple answer to that is, you know, the spirit of God is a gentle spirit. You know, it's not something like, you know, Netflix or I will consider stuff like Netflix and YouTube, all these type of social medias to be like a form of like entertainment for us that we don't really realize it's consuming us, consuming our time. And, you know, we're not really we're not really utilizing our time to do with like the important stuff, you know, whether it be studying for whatever thing you're doing in school, whether you're trying to get a degree, high school diploma, whether you're trying to get closer to God, whether you're trying to just do something important with your life, something meaningful, something educational, something purposeful these things that you know we spend our time with whether it's the social media stuff the netflix the entertainment stuff those things are pulling at us it's not like we we don't have to seek out those things they're just naturally there and they pull us in that's why we start a new show on netflix you know something real popular something you're invested in man you could watch like five ten episodes in a day if you have a clear day for that day or after if you have school or something after class you know i'm gonna watch a couple episodes and that's because it draws us in. That's something that pulls us. It takes our time. We don't give it our time. It completely just takes our time, has no consideration for us, what we really want, what we really need to be doing. It just takes our time. And on the opposite hand of that, you know, the word of God or whatever, anything that's, you know, beneficial to you. And in this particular case, we're going to talk about, you know, you know, God and, you know, spending time in scripture and stuff like that. God is a gentle spirit. It doesn't force you to do anything. It gives us free will. Being that being the case, you don't you don't find yourself, you know, seeking out these things because you don't have that. You don't have it in your heart, really. So if you want like a change, a true change, you will seek it out in your heart and you will be fully dedicated to seeing that change come about. And you can't do that if you don't seek it out. So the difference between, you know, things we enjoy, like TV shows and all these unnecessary unimportant things is that it, they call to us but yes the word of god calls to us as well but we have to fully seek it out more than these things call out to us we have to seek it out more than these other things call out to us i just had to say that twice so everyone caught it so the next scripture has to do exactly with that and it's in isaiah 55 verses 6 to 7 it says seek the lord while you can find him Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God for he will forgive generously. So you see here it says the first, very first verse. It says, seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him while he is near. So it's the same, it's the same principle. You have to seek it out. You have to seek time with the Lord. You have to seek time for prayer. You have to seek time for reflection. You have to seek it out because it's not always going to be there. We're, this generation we're living in, everybody's busy. Everybody's busy, excuse me, busy with school, busy with work. They're going to give you every reason for not being able to read a simple scripture in the morning, not spending five to ten minutes to pray in the morning and the evening, taking time to do anything spiritual. So... So, you know, basically the things that are not beneficial for us, they're going to pull at us, take our time because that's what the devil wants. He wants to consume all our time. He doesn't want us to be close to God. That's as simple as it can be put. So really, you know, seek out the Lord, seek out time with him. And yeah, soon enough, it's just going to be easy spending an hour, spending 
however long you want with God is just going to become easy. It's going to be something you want to do because you seek it out. It's not a chore. It's not something you're forcing yourself to do. If you feel like spending five minutes with God is difficult right now, it's because it feels like a chore. It feels like something, something you, you know you're supposed to do, but you don't really want to. you rather just watch Netflix or whatever. That's basically what it is. But yeah, um, that's all I, really, I, I, all I got to say for this video. Yeah, man, that's really all I got to say for this video. Just seek it out. Seek out the time with God and don't don't be so drawn to like, you know, the Netflix and stuff because there isn't it's not beneficial at all. It's not doing nothing good for your life. It's entertaining you, but it's not bringing you to any higher stages or anything. So yeah. thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Give me some feedback on these type of videos, what you guys think, because I love some feedback. See what y'all think about this. But yeah, man, peace.